Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you so much for joining me on the Valder Beebe Show as I wrap up my day. I'm your host, Valder Beebe, and I'm going to wrap it up with one of the best guests I could bring you today, Dr. Bob Arnott. He's here on Make... Uh, making sure we've got the right mask for you and your kids. Yeah, I've seen you guys in the store with your mask on top of your head and under your chin. I don't think that's the right way. So I went and got an expert to help us with that. Dr. Arnott, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Oh, uh, thanks so much, Val. You're such a great interviewer. Well, thank you. I love what I do, but I'm so, I'm telling the truth. I see people with the mask everywhere except where they're supposed to be. So I'm a uh, asking you to give us some advice about wearing the mask. There is obviously a certain way to wear the mask. Sure, you know, a lot of people don't have confidence in them because they don't wear them right into the wrong mask. The director of the CDC testified before Congress that the mask right now may be better than the vaccine, and he's right. The vaccine, when or if it becomes available, might be 50% effective. The right mask, 97% effective. So let's stop at the very, start at the very bottom end of the pile, the cloth mask. Studies last week show that it may spew more virus than no mask at all. It can get hot, wet, uncomfortable. And yes, we see them wearing below their nose, above their chin, <laughs> leaving their mouth out, gaps underneath their eyes, gaps next to their ears, wearing on the top of their head, wearing around their neck, right? I mean, no protection at all. But here's the thing, you know, I am part of a national task force that's looked at all the technology. So we started out with with ventilators, then O2 systems, then drugs. Now we're looking at masks. But I wanted a mask I could buy for my own family and for, for the local school. So I went to uh, Air Queen and I bought a thousand of their masks for the local schools, uh, donated those because it really gives you the right kind of protection. You know, uh, I, I'm at risk. I've got severe asthma. I'm worried about this. But now I go about my life confident that I can go into a store or you know, go, I'm, I'm careful about closed indoor spaces, but nonetheless, with a lightweight mask, easy breathability, and it's an N95 equivalent, meaning it's gone through the FDA tests at the Nelson Laboratories where they try to shoot particles through it. Uh, they're roughly the same size as the virus, and it stops, on average, 97% of the particles. I love those numbers, Dr. Bob Arnott. I want my audience to know that Dr. Bob Arnott is an Emmy Award-winning broadcast journalist and author. You know, he was previously the chief medical correspondent for NBC and CBS, so his advice comes very well qualified. Dr. Arnott, let me ask you this, and I want to roll it into what you're talking about. I believe a good mass is important. I've been home since March. I just look like I'm going to make March 2021 also, too. But the thing about it is, uh, we have a society where today it was announced that our president and and the first lady, they have contracted COVID and they haven't been wearing a mask. Is that a great example for us? Or is that a good reason for us to buy a mask? So I think it's a defining moment because look at the president is flouted wearing masks among his followers. You look at the rallies, they're not wearing masks. They're not distancing. And now he's contracted the virus. And it's because he hasn't followed the guidelines of his own government. So I think it's a real wake up call to the rest of us. Obviously, we pray that the president and his wife will recover fully, but they, they didn't follow the rules. And, and look at that. They're infected right now. Stock markets are down, froze the election into turmoil. And it just shows the consequences of not wearing the right mask. It's so simple. It's so easy. They're so comfortable now. Why not take the right steps? You know, this virus isn't that complicated. You want to stay out of, you know, closed indoor crowded spaces. You want to wear the right mask, get tested if you're exposed. You know, the Chinese went from a huge epidemic down to nothing, far fewer cases than we have because they were strict and they follow the rules. We're the worst country in the world right now in terms of deaths and total number of cases because we haven't followed the rules. And, you know, the, there was an article out yesterday saying that, uh, this has been an infodemic. I love the term infodemic because, you know, it's the wrong news. And the president was blamed for 38 percent of the, the bad information out there, including not wearing a mask and not distancing. Tell me about you have a, a passion in your heart about a charity. Uh, so I do. You know, I uh, have been on the boards of lots of these, you know, uh, say, Save the Children, UN High Commission for Refugees, Artists for Peace and Justice. Uh, but, you know, we want to help you out there, too. We'd be delighted to, to contribute 400 masks uh, to your local school system there, if you like. 
uh, you know, half adult for the teachers to keep them safe for the staff, half for the kids. And there are different air clean masks, uh, one for adults and one for kids. Uh, my son wears one with confidence, doesn't take it off all day long, loves it, feels safe, feels comfortable. I wear mine mountain biking, stand up paddling and, uh, and hiking uh, with confidence and with comfort. Dr. Arnott, I love your, your passion, and I've received the mask for giveaway, and I've chosen a, a local school, oh, and I'm not going to name it because I don't think children should be exposed, but I've chosen a local school. Oh, I've chosen God. a local charity, Adventure and Victory, uh, charity, Adventure and Victory, and I've chosen the Soup Mobile. What they do is they feed the homeless right. people who refuse to go to the shelter, and they do need masks, so I'm going to divide a little bit between all of those, local school and those charities, so I I want to thank you and your team and Air Queen for being so astute and knowing that this matters. This can make a difference. Make a huge difference. Well, bless you, Valerie. That's wonderful of you. No, it's wonderful of you. I love your infection. You make us us want to be better people because of your enthusiasm. Every time I have ever seen you in an interview or on TV, you bring such a high level of energy. So I want to thank you for bringing that energy to the Bounder BB Show and for the mask giveaway. Thank you very much, Dr. Bob Arnott. Is there right, a place you want to send my audience online for them to get more information about getting masks for them and their kids? Yes, so it's airqueen.com. And if you uh, remember the word safe, you put that in, you get a 10% discount. I bought 1,500 masks from the site for schools, fire, local uh, healthcare providers. Great customer service, and they'll get it out the next day. I will think of you each time I give out a mask. I want to thank you so much for being so benevolent, Dr. Bob Arnott. Uh, thanks for being uh, one of the world's best interviewers, Valor. Very appreciative. Thank, thank you so much. All right, talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.